hello everyone and welcome to today's video in today's video we're going to put some products in my everyday drawer we're gonna start already with some products that i have here that i want to use and these are two um mascaras this is the one from lancome i think this is called yeah uh lash idol um this is already open so i need to finish that and then i have the kkw beauty mascara in black i do have this uh, charlotte tilbury lip plump in um, pillow talk that i continue to use this is actually really good for dry lips and i usually do get them especially now in the colder months um and this is really something that i use almost every day i do have two brow products these are both from nyx this is a uh, brow pencil in espresso and then i have the uh lift and snatch brow um pen in espresso as well i also have a black liner in from essence this is one of my favorite black liners uh pencil black liners because it's waterproof but not only that it's really 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 dark and i really do enjoy that one so it's gonna be here for this week um i do have a lipstick from huda beauty in El Cinco de Mayo. I'm gonna swatch it, everything at the end. And then Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk Medium. I have the um, Hourglass lipstick. I don't know, I think this is in Confession. And then I have a Huda Beauty uh, lip contour lip liner in Icon. A lip gloss from Wayne Goss. I don't even know, oh, Hibiscus. This is in hibiscus and then i have a charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray so let's start with foundations i do have a lot of them and i have to think about which ones are going to expire um because it's getting to that time when i'm like mm, it's getting close to expiration date and i think i'm just gonna go with this one from huda beauty there's not uh, a lot left in this um and this is the fall fit filter in uh, latte 300 and i'm gonna get this one probably there's like one or two applications left in there um and then the next one that is kind of getting near a little bit more old i would say it is let me see the back over here hmm i think it's this one the four in one pure love yourself with long wear foundation so i'm gonna pull this one out as well so we're gonna go with those um and i'm gonna take this one as well just for like a little bit because the, these can be a little bit more heavy so i'm gonna get this one to like illuminate a little bit there and also just to kind of color it because right now those are not matching me that great because right now the other two are not matching me. The color doesn't match me that great. So I'm going to add this one as well. Now it is time for powder. And for powder, um, I think I'm just going to go with number seven. I haven't played with this one in a little bit. And this is an amazing dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. And I really do enjoy it. So I'm going to get this one, the triple action that I have it in medium. And for my under eyes, again, something that I haven't used in a while, I want to use it now. Maybe, I mean, I could go with this one, but this one I think it's, um, might be a little bit too colorful. But I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to go with Derma Blend uh, Illuminating Banana Powder. For brush, blush and bronzer, it is packed in here packed packed um i don't even know which one i want to go with mm. so i just recently purchased this from glowish i only tried it once and this is in the charming cherry i really do enjoy how this looks like so i think i'm gonna go with this also i think i'm just gonna go with this one as well this is from uh, uh color pop is from the 
Disney collection, Kissing a Frog. So I'm going to go with this one as well. As for bronzer, I think, should I go with just glowish? Actually, let me go with this one. Maybe I, I can finish it this time. This is the bottle bronzer from Physicians. From one is the mini one. And I am also thinking maybe... Maybe I can go with this one too. It's been a while since I've used it. So we're going to go with Too Faced uh, Bronze Peach as well. Now for highlighters. Um... Let's go with one of these from Ofra. I'm going to go with Rodeo Drive. As for eyeshadow palettes, I have a few up here that I pulled out to uh, kind of choose from. Because these are more like full eyeshadow palettes that I consider full eyeshadow palettes. I do have the new one from uh, Pat McGrath and this one from Romad. I did play with both of these a little bit. But I might want to play more with this one. Although I don't think this is screaming fall to me. It's more like winter vibes. So I think... Let me open them so you can see how they look like. And then we can make our pick. Alright, so I added two more over here. But here's how they look like. So this is... The one from Pat McGrath. As you can see, it does have some of the fall vibes. But I consider this more like winter vibes. Or at least right now, I don't feel like I want to play with this one for this week. Um, the same thing with the one from Nomad Cosmetics. I tried it. I played with it quite a while. So I think I'm going to say no to this one and this one. Um, these other ones, they are very good valid options. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with Soul Tree this time from um, ABH. And then maybe this one from uh, Huda Beauty. This is one of my favorite small eyeshadow paddles from Huda Beauty. This is the Khaki Haze. really do enjoy this one and I always love to make some Soul Tree looks with. So I'm going to go with those two. The rest of it, is, there's some Colourpop one. This is the, in collaboration with Frozen Anna. This is in collaboration with Star Wars, The Mandalorian, The Child Palette. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona, The Bronze Palette. But I think I'm going to use this one next week. And then, of course, we have Zoeva and um, Makeup Revolution. And then we have uh, Juvia's Place. So we're going to go with those. Okay, so let's talk about the lip collection. I did swatch them right here for you. So the first one is the one from Huda Beauty and Cinco de Mayo. The second one is from Charlotte Tilbury, the medium, Pillow Talk medium. The third one is the Confession, I believe, from Hourglass. And the fourth one is going to be the swatch from the Icon um, lip liner from Huda Beauty and the last swatch right there is the lip gloss and hibiscus from from wayne gus and here's the selection of highlighters so we're gonna have this one from ofra which is really nice i have it swatched right over here and then next to it i have the uh bronzer from physicians formula the next one is the bronzer from um Too Faced, and then we have the uh, blush from um, Huda Beauty, which is really, really beautiful. And then the next one is the blush from ColourPop, which again is very, very pretty. Um, this might be the last time I'm going to use this. I had it for a very long time. I think it's been like at least three years since I had it. Um, so I think that might be the last time I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to have to... Um, toss it because it is expired and the rest of it maybe i'm hoping to finish this as well so we'll see how it's gonna go here are the two powders this is the number seven and medium and this is the derma derma blend uh the banana one and then the three foundations that i have right here i have them swatched right here as you can see um the closest one that was gonna be to match me would be this one but in combination with them um definitely gonna be able to bring it to the color that i have 
right now as you can see uh the one from Pura Beauty is a little bit more um I would say like um dry you know uh the other ones are not that runny either but uh, they're a little bit more as you can see a little bit more luminous but yeah and here's a closer look to the two eyeshadow palettes that I have chosen for this week. The Huda Beauty one, Kiki Haze, and this one from ABH Sultry Palette. So pretty much this is what I'm going to use this week. We'll see how everything is going to go. I'm going to let you know next, next week which one I like the most. And probably show you some eye looks that I create with this uh, two eyeshadow palettes. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Goodbye.